The 2005 2502 walk around trophy. Bo has extremely low hours. Check our website for details. It was kept without a cover, so there is some weathering. However, color sand this, it should come up brand new. Has a galvanized trailer, surge brakes, and a full size uh, spare. Holds in very good condition. Support side of the boat. Stainless steel through holes on the Trophy Pro. 25 foot trophies powered by a 250 supercharged Mercury Verado. Transom area of the boat. One unique feature is all the steering components are inside. Part that attaches to the boat, reducing uh, maintenance. Also equipped with a uh, stainless steel transom area. There is a built-in bait tank in the center. A little sun damage on the top of the combing pads. Again, unfortunately, it was stored with the Isinglass up. The Isinglass is in good condition. I don't know whether it will polish back up or not. It may need to be replaced. Nice walk around. There is a walk-through transom door on this boat. Nice size uh, cockpit. Toward the uh, back of the boat, there's a flip-up center seat. And then this opens up for your bait tank. It also has a light. The starboard side of the transom area has a little uh, stowaway area for storage or a little igloo. Cutting board fits in here. These close down. And then on this port edge, sorry about that, a little uh, raw water wash down. This hatch opens up to access the batteries. Same thing with these two hatches. That's the seat. Again, a little sun damage on the top of the combings. The fronts are like brand new. Again, this boat has very low hours on it. They have to be replaced or they should clean up. Pulling rod holders. There's the walk, the walk around area on the 25 Trophy. You have a frosted uh, hatch there. It gives you a little bit more light in the interior. Very large ground tackle area out front, including uh, oversized anchor locker and a anchor windlass. So a view from the bow of the boat towards the stern. Nice tall uh, window on this model. And then hard top also a little bit longer than some of them. After both seats, the helm seat, we have a little jump seat here. This opens up for static storage or can be used also for wet storage or a fish box. There is an overboard drain. There's even a little integrated uh, backrest here. That's on the port and start. As we go into the helm area, there is a uh, designated area for a second ice chest to go underneath the uh, helm seat. These do swivel and slide forward. Uh, electronic controls are standard with the Verado. In addition, it has Lenko trim tabs, VHF radio, Gray Marine C80 is mounted. Gauges. Hour meter. Hell Mary also has a uh, couple of uh, cup holders 
heavy duty uh, step here, footrest. Access the cabin has a nice sliding door so you don't have that overhead door and then uh, easily access the cabin area. As you go down into the cabin, there's a small galley unit, knee berth, and again, this area obviously was not exposed to the sun, so it's in very, very From the coast good New condition. To the Florida Keys. Pretty much, uh, West of this in Mexico, if you as new. There is some rod storage on the port side there. This is your primary panel. Looks like this boat's also equipped with a shore power package. There is an AC-DC Coolmatic little refrigerator for this boat as well. The usual option. And there's definitely shore power, but here's an AC plug. So if you can't plug it into the shore and power up AC inside the cabin on the port side, there is some uh, static rod storage. You can lock some things up. A little alcohol, electric stove. Keep in mind, the electric stove would only be applicable when you're hooked up to shore power. Otherwise, you use uh, alcohol when you're away from the dock. Again, inside cabin, very, very good. Condition. Drop down table. Also, this boat uh, must have been a, a standard feature of the uh, Pro Series, has a uh, complete headliner. It's also wipers, uh, port and starboard on this boat. Starboard side of the cabin. And then this opens up and you have a full marine head. Another feature on this boat is these cushions are kind of attached so you can swing them up and then there's storage. And then on the bottom of them they have the stainless steel frame. Keep everything uh, stowed away even in rough conditions. There's the shore power cord. There's even like a uh, special uh, non-skid liner here inside the cabin so you could uh, wash it out in lieu of carpeting or something else. This is storage underneath the uh, sink area. Access behind the helm area. And again, you can see everything's pretty much as new. There is no corrosion or any sign of uh, severe salt water use. Very cool. All the upholstery on this boat, except for the combing pads, are in very, very good condition. There's the helm seat. Port side uh, fish locker. They use for fish locker or for dry storage like the starboard size. Close this down. Again, every upholstery is in very good shape. Even the Isinglass here, the canvas is uh, almost like new. Hard top for rocket launchers coming off the hard top. There is a deck light and then there's some uh, courtesy lights inside here. There's even a bus up here if you want to uh, get radar or something like that. It's all pre-wired. Starboard side of the boat, also in real good condition. Like I said, the color sanding or buffing, I'm sure it would come up. No marks, scratches, just a uh, little bit of sun damage. Here's a bow view on this 25 Trophy Pro. It does have a Carolina flare. And then in addition to that, a lot of the newer boats, better hull design, are using the reverse chine, which you can see on this boat as well. Helps deflect the water down away from the side of the boat. 